The 710 cable gland consists of five key components. Entry with deluge boot, compound pot, spigot, middle nut with patented tightening guide, and back nut. This dual certified cable gland is suitable for use with the following cable types. TC, ER, HL, TC, ER, PLTC, PLTC, ER, ITC, ITC, HL, and ITC, ER. Assembly instructions are provided with Hawk cable glands or can be downloaded by the Hawk website. Allow sufficient length of cable and strip the outer sheath to suit the equipment the cable is being terminated into. Slide the back nut and middle nut onto the cable. Check the cut end of the cable in a sheath for any sharp edges. If necessary, clean up the cut end with a knife or apply electrical tape to smooth the corners. If an inner sheath is not present and you are using express resin, use electrical tape wrapped around the base of the cores to create a suitable sealing surface. The tape should not protrude more than 3 to 5 mm beyond the seal. Tip: If Hawk seal or QSP is being used, remove the rubber resin dam before installing the spigot component. Slide the spigot over the cable, taking care not to damage the rubber resin dam until the rear end of the spigot is at the point the inner sheath is stripped back to. Fit the pot and check that the inner sheath is the height of the pot shoulder. Your assembly is now ready for compound. Follow our Hawk Seal compound or Express Resin installation videos for step-by-step -step instructions. Express Resin is Hawk's fast curing liquid pouring seal for use with Hawk barrier glands. Ensure gloves are worn throughout the filling process. They are supplied with the resin as standard. Snap off or unscrew the cartridge lid and fit the nozzle. Purge approximately 25 mm or 1 inch of resin onto a disposable surface to ensure that the resin is properly mixed. Ensure the gland is held vertically. With the nozzle starting as far down the pot as possible, fill the resin to approximately 3 mm under flush. This is indicated on the silicon pot by the fill line shown on screen. Check that the resin is properly filled without any voids. Manipulate the cable cores to ensure the resin has filled any voids between them. If air pockets are present, coax them out from the resin by manipulating the silicon pot. Tape the cores so they stand centrally to the pot. If the fill level drops below the minimum level, top up the resin to the fill line. Place the entry over the silicon pot to ensure it is held in the correct position. Gland installation can now continue. Now the potting is complete, use a wrench to fit the entry into the enclosure. If required, fit the appropriate IP washer onto the entry thread. Tip. Depending on the enclosure used, the method of installation will vary. Slide the cable through the entry until the pot is seated in the entry. Hand tighten the middle nut to the entry and add a fifth to a quarter turn with a wrench. Hand tighten the back nut until a seal is formed around the cable. Use a wrench or spanner to grip the middle nut. While preventing the middle nut turning, use a second wrench to apply one further full turn to the back nut. Use our patented middle nut tightening guide as an indication that the back nut is in the correct position to suit cable diameter. Tip: A diameter scale is provided in our assembly instructions to help with this process. Installation is complete.